back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be going over three easy Halloween makeup tutorials. I created a vampire look, a skull look, and a zombie slash burn, just mostly like scabs and wounds on the face kind of look. These may look kind of hard, but they're actually very easy and they don't take that long to do. If you want, you could totally go in there with more details and I didn't really do anything with like my hair or the costume itself so you can just go ham on those and make the look your own if you want. I can personally add more, a little bit more detail than to what I'm showing you right now but because I wanted to make looks that look like they're hard but they're actually very easy, I wanted to do that for y'all. So hopefully you all enjoy. If you all recreate any of these looks, please feel free to show me through Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. And make sure you hashtag Carla Jonas Halloween. I would love to see y'all's recreations. Hopefully you all like that intro I did. I worked on it probably longer than the tutorials itself and I'm actually very proud of it. I think it looks really cool. If you all are interested, the music that I used in my intro it is from the band called Ratchet Dolls. I will put their information in the description box below. Make sure when you all watch my videos to read my description bar. There's sometimes information regarding the video or regarding anything else on there. So if you want to stay informed with me, read the description box. Can you believe like this weekend's already Halloween? Like where did the month of October go? It's just like... If you all are going to be going out on Halloween this weekend, please stay safe. Thank you all for watching and hopefully you all enjoy this tutorial. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will be seeing you really soon. Goodbye my friends. Okay, so first we're going to start with the vampire look. For every single one of these looks, you're going to want to have your hair pulled back. You want to start off with a fresh face. Clearly I'm wearing contacts because I can't see. We're going to start off with foundation. You're going to want to apply this all over your face. And you're going to want a foundation that does not match your skin. You're going to want it lighter because we are going for a vampire look and vampires are pale. <laughs> Just want to apply that all over the face. And you want to apply a generous amount. <laughs> I didn't think that was pale enough, so I went in with this cream-based makeup that I just got from Walmart. As you can see, it is so much better. There we go, now we look like a ghost. Right after that, we're going to take this black makeup crayon, and that's what we're going to use to fill in our eyebrows. These crayons came with the Halloween makeup packets that I got at Walmart, so they're pretty inexpensive. I personally didn't think it was black enough, so I went in with some black liquid eyeliner. Dancing to Nick Jonas, don't mind that. <laughs> now we want to make our face look sunken in, so I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, and I'm going to be using this cool tone grayish color to carve out my cheekbones and make them look sunken in. It's kind of like contouring but a little bit more defined and you want to blend that out but you still want to make it look very harsh. To help you blend out that shadow a little bit better you can use the brush that you use to apply the white. Don't forget to do the same thing on your forehead on your temples. And make sure to blend all of that out. Doing the exact same thing but with a smaller fluffier brush, you're going to do that around your eyes below the eyebrow and moving all the way into your nose so it's going to look like your eyes are also sunken in. Now that we kind of look like a statue, we are going to be taking the red crayon and we are going to be defining our under eye area. And then right after that, with no additional product, you're going to start blending out the contour that you did around your nose and then blend that out on the under eye area. And then you're just going to keep adding more red and just be blending that out. Taking the Take Me to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics, I'm going to take this bright red and I'm going to be adding more red under the under eye area, blending that out. And now here I am singing to the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Taking the bright purple from this palette, we are going to be blending this color out 
and then this is additional you don't have to do this but i just like to take this morphe palette because i like this purple and i'm going to be blending it out all over the eye you can definitely use the other purple that you were using first it doesn't necessarily have to be this one but i just wanted to use this one make sure to blend all of that out Right after that, I'm going to go in with that color again, but this time more packed, and I am just going to be defining the crease more. Off camera, I already went and did my top eyeliner, and here I'm just doing the bottom, and then you're going to add some mascara. If you want this look to be more dramatic, you can add a wing and false lashes. We're going to be taking some scar wax that I got from a party store, but if you don't have a party store, you can just get the one that comes in the little Walmart packages, and you're just going to put that around your neck i put it more close to my chest because i wanted it to be visible this is where our vampire bites are going to be i'm going to be using a bobby pin to pierce the little holes in that scar wax for the vampire bites taking some vampire blood that i also got from walmart i'm getting that on the bobby pin and that is what i'm using to put the blood in the little holes you can definitely leave it, leave it like this but i wanted to go in with some more color so i just started blending around the bites you can't really see here because my hand's in the way but i'm just taking the red and purple back and forth and i'm just blending that around the bites the key with this look is just to blend those are the bites just add some your favorite dark red lipstick. This one's from Maybelline. And then we're moving on to the blood on the face. I like to add the black under it before I put more blood because it's going to give it more depth and it's going to make the blood look a little bit darker. Just put the blood all over that. I went ahead and put my cape on off camera. Finally, we just need to take the vampire fangs that I got from the Halloween store and they were very inexpensive. And we are done with the vampire look. Starting off with the skull makeup now, we are using the same cream white makeup that we did before. As you can see, it's kind of patchy, it's not all that great. But for this skull look, it can be kind of messy, so it's okay. We're going to use this black paint now. And we're just going to start drawing around the eyes. I didn't bother to paint white on there because there was no point because we were going to go over it with black. And you just want to connect it from the bottom to the top. You want to make a weird shape, kind of like a little U, and then you're going to start filling it in. It kind of looks like a fish. You're going to do the exact same thing on the other eye, and they don't have to be the same. Like I said, it can be messy. While the paint is drying on the eyes, we are going to move on to the rest of the face. Using any black eyeshadow would be fine for this, and while that's drying, we're just going to draw the lines from our mouth to around our cheekbones. Before I wanted to continue, I wanted to start on the nose. You're going to kind of make like a swiggly looking V. And you're just going to connect those edges to the bottom of your nose. And after that, you're just going to fill it in. My camera battery had died, so all I did off camera was finish filling it in. And on top of all the black, I went over it with black eyeshadow because the cream makeup was too watery for me. And I didn't like the way it shined, so I wanted to mattify it with some eyeshadow. And this way, it'll last a little bit longer. So right now, I'm taking some more eyeshadow and I'm lightly creating lines across the previous line that we created for the teeth. For the teeth, if you want to make it a little bit easier, you can just connect the lines to each other and make them curvy and they'll look like teeth. But I'm just going to go ahead and curve them inside each little line, making it look kind of like a chemical bottle. They kind of curve at the end and you want to shade in in between those lines and the tooth. And you want to make the shading darker and then you're going to start bringing that color up lighter. Taking the cool tone gray shadow again, we're just going to start messily putting that all over the mouth. After that, you want to curve around the teeth on each side, kind of looking like a C. After that, you're going to start shading once again. Around the line itself, you want it to be dark, and when you start dragging it down towards the teeth, you want to go lighter, so it's going to create that gradient effect.
then you're just gonna create like a little bone shape and connect it to that piece and all of that is gonna be black And you're just going to start creating the little wrinkles. I just did little lines and once again the lines itself are supposed to be darker and just drag down that shadow to make it look like shading. And you can just kind of put these anywhere. I just kind of followed the eye. you just want to start shading that in all over blending that out kind of like how we did with the cool tone gray finally we're gonna do the little curve like anger it's gonna make your face look a little bit angry and more intimidating and you kind of just flick a little line up and then you just start smudging it out to give it the look of actual wrinkles and that you're actually like angry and that is it we are done with the skull makeup Finally, we are moving on to the last look, which is going to be the gory one. You're going to need some liquid latex. This one I picked up at the Halloween store, and you're just going to want to put a little bit on the cap. And you're just going to start putting that on your forehead where you're going to want to do a wound. And you're going to need toilet paper for this. Grabbing a little piece of toilet paper, I kind of did a little circle because I wanted my wound to look kind of like a hole. Then you're just going to start putting more latex on top of that and that's what's going to make it stick onto your forehead a little bit better. Make sure to try not to get it on your eyebrows because it does get sticky and taking it off is going to be very, very hard. Once it dries, it tends to get all stringy like this. Taking another piece of toilet paper, I put it on top of the wet latex and I just keep putting more latex on top of that. That's basically what this look is. You're just going to be putting latex, toilet paper, latex, toilet paper. At least that's how I do it. And then you're just going to wait for it to dry. Then going over it after it's dry, you're going to use a foundation that matches your skin so that way it can look a little bit more realistic. I'm going to be taking the brown first and with the little sponge that comes on this little palette thing I'm going to start putting brown all around that wound. Then I'm going to start putting more but with a brush to start making little details. Taking the little stippling sponge that also came with the palette, I am going to start putting more brown around the wound and now I'm just going to start blending in different colors. I'm going to be starting off with purple, then I'm going to be going in with like a mustard yellow to make it look infected, and then with red because I want it to look irritated. And on the inside of the wound, I'm going to be going in with some brown and some black to give it some more dimension. And then on top of that, I'm going to put more liquid latex and more toilet paper to give it that 3D effect. Then I'm just going to start stippling a bunch of colors around my face, mostly brown and red. Then I'm going to continue on around the face and here I'm going to put liquid latex and then I'm going to try to put some scar wax on top of it. I'm going to use the same scar wax that I used for the vampire look. And this scar wax didn't really work so well. It didn't stick all that great. So if you're going to want to use scar wax, I recommend the Ben Nye one. But for this one, since it didn't really stick, I went over it with some liquid latex to see if that would help. And then I just went around and started adding some more toilet paper. I'm going to do the same thing around the mouth. And I just dropped some liquid latex here. I had to clean it up right after because if not, it was going to be even more messy. While that was drying, I just kind of just started throwing some colors on the other side of my face. And then here, I am just trying to create a cut on the scar wax. But it didn't really work out how I wanted it to, so I kind of just worked with what happened once I tried to cut it. Once again, go around it with the foundation so it could blend out. And I just kind of started doing the same thing that I did with the upper wound with all the same colors. And I added a little bit more green this time because I didn't use that much green on the first wound. And on the inside is where the black and the brown is going to go. That way I can get more dimension on those cuts. Finally, we're adding blood. And yes, it's going to be messy. So make sure when you're doing this look to use a shirt that you don't really care about getting dirty. This is my favorite part because I feel like this is when the look finally starts to come together and look even more gross because there's blood like all over your face. 
like look at that oh that's nasty <laughs> uh, so I just started putting blood all over my face and that is it thank you all so much for watching please stay safe this weekend and remember to subscribe if you haven't already I will be seeing you all very very soon I hope you all have a very fun and a happy Halloween